just after I had graduated from college, the Shagway Arts Barn had asked me if I wanted to teach uh, a painting class out there. Like, I'm not qualified to teach a painting class. And I had two ladies show up. The class was almost five hours long. <laughs> My name is Sarah Steck Schulte and I am owner of Fairheart along with my fiance Alex DeCanter. We run Fairheart together. Graduated at Ludington High School and I was able to, to go to West Shore Community College with scholarships and grants. I looked for more opportunities in the community to be involved in art. Started all the little baby steps of how I could make money as an artist without having to go and get a fancy degree or go to an art school. I'm honestly glad that I didn't because I feel like it would have kind of put me in a box. I was teaching at the Shagway Arts Barn. I had gotten a message from a gal who owned, it was Inspired Painting Parties at the time. They offered for me to actually purchase their business. We all felt it would be a perfect transition. I essentially took over their business and I had renamed it Inspired Parties because I knew that someday, you know, I'd like to do some more than just painting. I'd like to try some other types of arts and crafts. For a while I was strictly mobile, so I had my art supplies in my mom's office basement <laughs> for a couple of years. No one tells you how to do these things, really. You know, especially when you're making up a business and you're, you kind of have an idea that you're shooting for. There's research that you need to do and examples, other similar types of businesses that maybe you can learn something from. But in the day-to-day -day life of running a business, there's going to be problems that come up. Critical thinking and problem solving wasn't something that I was super great at, but it's taken, you know, many years to kind of refine those skills and teach myself that when a problem arises, not to shut down or freak out. You know, it's so, okay, breathe through it. This is what we're dealing with today. <laughs> and uh, just coming up with the best game plan that you can come up with. Through 2020 and on, it was time for a new name. And I, I played around with, you know, different words. So I was like, oh, fair heart. That fair is the French word for make, so it means make heart, and art is within the heart. Fair heart is a maker space where you can experiment, try craft or an art project that you're curious about. Every person that walks into our door is essentially a part of our story. Everyone is welcome at Fairheart.